if you're going to create content on your own and you're wondering whether or not the cell phone in your pocket is professional enough, 1000% it's professional enough. That cell phone in your pocket is better than a camera that I paid $10,000 for less than 10 years ago. And so technology is no longer a barrier to get started. Most brands can be creating content for free or next to free every single day, and they don't because they don't think they have the ability to. You can get so much help on the editing side if you want to. In this gig economy, there's plenty of people to do it, whether it's Fiverr or wherever. There's a lot of really talented people that can help you with that. On the professional side, yes, there are some pieces that you should have that are evergreen that you probably need some help with. So you want to be painted in the best light possible. For a video, it's going to live front and center on the homepage of your site. Or if you want to grab a couple of customer testimonials, because remember, there's nothing you can say about yourself that's going to be as powerful as what a customer or client says about you. And so if you're going to capture a couple of things like that, yeah, you should certainly use a pro for that. And I think the most important thing there, if you're vetting that, is to feel out that person because anybody can put a couple of nice pieces of content up on their website, but you really want to know about the process. How taxing is this going to be on your team? What is the philosophy? Is it scripted or unscripted? Because those are two completely different things. And so if you feel like you want content that feels alive and doesn't feel stiff and inauthentic, then you really got to vet that ahead of time. And one important note here, Ark, is that when we talk about unscripted conversations, that doesn't mean unprepared. So typically with our clients, we'll sit down for a discovery meeting after we've already agreed to work together where we can learn about their company. We want to know what their challenges and their opportunities are because video is a tool. Video is not like this shiny, nice to have thing that you pop on a website and you say, look at this, look how proud we are. Video should be able to tackle a problem or take advantage of an opportunity. And so we want to know what those opportunities or challenges are for a company. And then that way you can guide the conversation to be able to address those things and create the tools that are going to be valuable for them afterwards.